Uh, I'm Brad Bierman. Uh, I'm an avid patch collector, uniform geek. Also helping the folks at Pro League Authentics out with their uh, social media and working with Morris on the website moving forward. And uh, I'm appreciative of the opportunity tonight to show my patches, which I've been collecting for about 25 years. This is the first time I'm having an opportunity to show them in front of an audience that I think will, could be able to appreciate it. Uh, I'll start off with a lot of uh, thanks to Peter. Can't really afford a lot of the, uh, the the authentic patches going back to the kind of era that Peter was talking about. But thanks to Mitchell and Essen putting out the replica patches. Uh, the first two boards I'm going to show you are the patches that all the teams wore, as Peter alluded to a little bit earlier. Uh, 1925 uh, Mitchell and Ness National League Golden Jubilee. Uh, the 39 uh, baseball centennial patch that Peter talked about. Uh, he also mentioned the. Uh, the uh, patches that were worn during World War II, the other two here on the top, uh, worn by teams in 42 and then from 43 to 45. And then uh, he was able to do the uh, very unusual patch here, the ruptured, the duck. ruptured duck patch, which a few players wore in 1945. Uh, so thanks to Mitchell and Ness, it makes a collector such as myself able to have a full collection of the commemorative patches. Uh, you know, these go for anywhere from three, four, five hundred dollars. Uh, I saw this Yankee 50th, uh, American League 50th patch, uh, anniversary patch go for uh, five, six, seven hundred dollars uh, original. Uh, the 69 uh, baseball centennial is original. The rest are originals. Uh, National League centennial patch is original that all the teams wore in uh, 76 in the National League. Uh, flag patch, uh, the first George Bush was president of the Persian Gulf War. Uh, the 125th patch uh, with the special gold flaking. Uh, that was worn in 94, and this was the Jackie Robinson patch that every team wore uh, in 97. I'll show you the other variations that a couple other teams wore. Uh, the American League Centennial patches, this one bore the six charter members, including the Philadelphia A's, this by every other team. Uh, American, uh, American flag patch worn in 01 after uh, the war under the second George Bush, and then the ALS patch worn in 09. Uh, Luke Gehrig, number four, July 4th, 2009. Those are worn, worn by all the teams. Next is the World Series. World Series patches started in 87. Uh, the Twins and the uh, Cardinals, only the Cardinals wore it. Uh, you can see the top row how the style from MLB was very similar except for the 89 Battle of the Bay, the Earthquake World Series between the uh, A's and the Giants. You can see then they moved in 92 to a different kind of global design uh, right through, I guess, 2000, uh, through 99. Uh, the Phillies and the Blue Jays wore the 93 patch there right here. Uh, the 97 World Series patch was worn by neither team, the Indians or the Marlins. The umpires did wear it on the jacket. Uh, Indians wore the All-Star Game patch, uh, and Jackie Robinson patch, and the Marlins wore the Jackie Robinson patch, which I'll show you. 98 and 99, identical except for the year. Uh, and then 2000, the uh, Mets and Yankees. And then they kind of switched the design after 2001, more global. As you can see, and then added the term Fall Classic in 2008 when the Phillies played the uh, Tampa Bay Rays. And then you can kind of see the evolution, uh, trying to make them look different now up to 2011. Those are the World Series. I have each team patch. I can just start alphabetically, I guess, with the American League. Really love the Orioles. Um, Peter. Uh, Mitchell Ness was able to reproduce a 64 Star Spangled Banner patch or else it wouldn't be able to get that patch anywhere else. The rest are all authentic. Uh, the Pentagon patch worn for one game September 11th, 2002 at Yankee Stadium. Uh, the Cal Ripken patch, this is actually the one that they wore on the field. Clarendon was Cal Ripken's sponsor and made another patch that looks very similar to this, but it wasn't the one that they wore on the field. Um, just like this for all the colors. And uh, really love patches, you know, for, for jerseys as art, when these patches are attached to a jersey, they really, you know, have a nice artistic uh, flair to them. And uh, I just think they're kind of neat. The other interesting one is uh, Cuba. Orioles played the Cuban team exhibition series in 99. And I think that's kind of a very attractive looking patch. And in 2012, they were in Camp Yards. Ten of the 30 teams are wearing patches this year. Uh, Red Sox, again, want to... Mitchell and Ness, 1930. 
there were very few patches worn before the 50s. Uh, 17 White Sox with the American flag, 48 Indians, uh, 30 Red Sox and uh, Boston Braves for the anniversary of the city of Boston, uh, 51 Tigers and, and 52 Yankees. So very few patches worn in baseball up until the 50s. Uh, the Red Sox, and, and to get these, it's who you know, this was the equipment manager for the Red Sox to be able to get this um, Earth Day patch, very hard to get, but it's, uh, if you know people, you can get them. Massachusetts Bicentennial was worn in 75, but not in the World Series against the, uh, the Reds. As you can see from uh, Peter's jerseys, this was a 17. I, can't, I believe this is the first patch that a team really wore in commemorative. Everything I can remember. Yeah. Uh, uh, I really only really have the commemoratives, not so much the memorials, but there's a Nelson Fox memorial for the White Sox. Um, that's that one. Indians, um, again, as I mentioned, I'm sorry, it was 49 that they wore this patch. Here's an authentic 76, 93 for uh, Olin's Cruz, two players that died in spring training in an accident. They were going to wear a, a, a patch for the last year of Municipal Stadium, but instead wore this. I don't have two patches that I didn't collect from the Indians uh, when they won the American League because to me it's like second place patch. They had an AL Champs <laughs> patch in 96, so I didn't put it on here. And they had a Central Division patch in 98. Tigers, uh, here's 51. Uh, haven't been able to get an authentic one of that. Um, missed out on a couple eBay auctions, but Peter, uh, Peter Mitchell Ness had a great replica of the 51 and the 76. That 51 Detroit patch? Yes. The Detroit Lions also and the Detroit Red, Red Wings. Wings. They all wore it. Three I'm teams sure. in Detroit. Yeah. Uh, Royals, a team that's had very few patches in their history. They're hosting the All-Star Game this year. They've had a couple for uh, memorial patches, but other than that, they've only had these three uh, since the team came into existence in 69. Angels. Uh, Original 85, 25th anniversary patch, and for Gene Autry, the owner. Uh, also some colorful ones here. I uh, really like the Twins, too. Uh, they've had some unique patches um, for the statehood. And I-35, when the uh, highway collapsed, a year later they wore this patch uh, on the anniversary of that uh, I-35 uh, bridge collapse. Also very colorful. A lot of people like the the Twin Cities uh, mascots of Minneapolis, St. Paul. Um, so just really like this one just by the different uh, looks that they've had over the years. Uh, this Yankee one, <clears throat> three New York teams in 38 wore the uh, World's Fair patch. I just put it on the Yankees, the Dodgers, and Giants also wore it. This patch recently on eBay went for $800, an authentic one. So you can see. This one is one of my more prized ones. This is an original 73 Yankee Stadium 50th anniversary. One of, of which I made Peter, wrong. Peter, Peter made, made a lot of duplicates of that. We made that red. Before. Right, made that red. Made that red, right. Uh, but that is an authentic one. That's probably one of the more valuable ones I have uh, in this collection. 